In this week's Tractor Tales, we're headed to Arizona. The owner of this 1965 Oliver grew up in Kansas, but as you'll see, it doesn't matter where he lives, as long as he can hear his tractor running. The tractor standing behind me is a 1950 Oliver. It's a Detroit diesel powered tractor. When I found this one on yesterday's tractors, I had to have it because of the Detroit. It makes more noise than anybody else's, and the more it makes, the better I like it. It was shipped from Charles City to Larnard, Kansas, is where it was shipped to. And the man that bought it brand new quit farming and put the tractor up for sale because he didn't need it anymore and I happened onto it. It's not as bad as it was, but when I got it, the right rear fender, he had turned the corner with the spring tooth on the back of it and hooked the drawbar with it and rolled the drawbar up over the fender. The paint was gone. The old tractor was, well, it was kind of rough. The tires on it were wore plumb out. And I put new tires, I painted it. I had the people from General Motors down here come look at it, take the inspection plates off of it and check it for the engine and stuff when I got it. I take it to the tractor pull, make all the noise I can and run it around in the parade. I've driven it on the first tractor drive the club had, I drove it in it. The man that bought this tractor bought no frillies. It's got hydraulics and it's got the transmission in it. There's no over and under in it. There's no hydropower drive. There's no power steering. It's just a Wheatland model tractor. The old Dutchman said that he didn't need all those frillies wasting money. So when he bought the tractor, he bought the bare bones tractor. But I like it because it makes a lot of noise and that's why I have it. 